And it's an honor for me to be here during this season where we remember Jesus. We remember Jesus as God showed up. And, uh, you know, one of my neighbors who speaks Spanish as her first language, she says sometimes we make these ideas uh, too complicated, like the incarnation. We talk about that like it's some kind of uh, theology. You've got to go to seminary. She said, but in Spanish, when you order your burrito con carne, it means with meat. Yes. And she said, so what, God, what Jesus is, is God con carne, with meat on, right? That God puts skin on and moves into the neighborhood. God lives among us. So, but what's also important is how Jesus came. That's what we're going to think about this morning. You know how Jesus came? That, that Jesus came to us. The Savior of the world came to us. As a brown-skinned Palestinian Jew from a neighborhood where people said nothing good could come. That's our savior, right? And sometimes we forget it with all of the, the clutter, you know, sometimes. We, we get distracted by the shopping and, the, and uh, buying stuff. And I remember one pastor told me a beautiful story. He said, I, I got to tell you the story of this Christmas service we had a few years ago. He said, it's one of the most powerful services we ever had. He said, we were all ready for Christmas as usual. Had our sanctuary decorated, the Christmas tree on the altar. We had the wreaths and the red and green and the lights and all the gold. He said, I was praying for the Christmas service. And he said, and that's where it got weird. He said, I felt clear as day. God telling me to take down all the decorations and undecorate the sanctuary. And so he said, I'm not one to say no to God. So I said, I'll do it, God, but you're going to have some angry elders. You're going to have to deal with that. And uh, he took down all the decorations. This is right before the Christmas service. He said, and then it got weirder. He said, I felt the Spirit of God telling me to go out to my little farm and bring back some hay and some manure and to redecorate the sanctuary. He said, so I put the hay on the altar and down the aisles. And he said, and it had a little horse poo in it. And he said, it was weird. The next morning, everybody showed up and it was awkward. <laughs> Sitting down there, smelling the poo a little bit. I thought, I thought this was Christmas. They got their best dressed clothes on. They're wondering where the lights were. And he said, but then the spirit fell on us. He said, one of the most powerful services we ever had, God spoke as clear as day and said, this whole story is about a God that moves into the poop. A God that gets into the funk of the human condition that leaves all the comfort of heaven to join the struggle here on earth. That Jesus comes to us in the most vulnerable way, in the most unexpected places, that Jesus shows up homeless because there was no room in the inn. Jesus was born in the middle of a genocide. That first Christmas wasn't a celebration for a lot of moms and dads because Herod began slaughtering children all over the land. That's where Jesus showed up, right? If we find ourselves climbing the ladder of success and status and upward mobility, we better be careful or else on our way up, we will make, meet Jesus on his way down. We should be glad that Jesus wasn't too obsessed with his comfort and safety or he may have never left heaven. Because when Jesus came on earth from the moment he was born until he was executed and humiliated on the cross, he was near to the suffering. So one of the questions we asked this year may be, uh, how do we show up as Jesus' people in the world? You know, there's a lot of people talking about the war on Christmas. And by that, they mean uh, we need to make sure we say Merry Christmas instead of Happy Holidays. But I got to say, I, I think God could care less whether we say Happy Holidays or Merry Christmas if we still turn away immigrants and we leave Jesus in the cold this Christmas, right? That, that our Jesus is one who's near to the poor. So I, I, I'm less interested in putting the Christ back in Christmas and putting the Christ back in Christian again, right? That we focus on Jesus this season.